Hi folks and welcome back to yet another edition of Rob's Allotment Garden and with that back down my allotment what time are we on? It's 10 past 6 Friday the 31st I just pop down hopefully to do a bit of picking and if I get a chance do a little bit of weeding uh, I ain't going to go too in depth just pick what's ready if you know what I mean and then I'll show you what we've got at the end of it after I've done it all. So another good crop of beans, but hey, eh, beans means hinds, as so we say, and there is other beans available. Right, catch you in a bit, folks. Right then, folks, I've done a bit, a bit of weeding here in the beetroot. You can now actually see where the beetroot is. It's, whoops. It's flopped over at the moment since weeding, but it'll soon stand back up. A bit tedious and weeding, but it has to be done. So. Oh, there's my feet. So that's that bit weeding. Now, if I can get up tomorrow, I will. Because I think it's time these shallots was lifted they're about there now and they're nice sized onions I would say I'm really surprised I've got anything so I want to lift them put them in the greenhouse and I can weed this cover put some more compost in and I think I'll put a black sheet over there's the onion bed. It desperately needs weeding. But again, them onions now are just about ready to pull. So I won't bother weeding it. I'll weed it as I go along. Top it up with compost and sheet right down. Right, I'll spin you around and I'll show you what we've what I've harvested today. And I'm I am surprised. We'll go up this way. Beans, look at the amount of beans. That's a fair size trug as well. And we've got cucumber, courgette, tomato, and even, I don't know if I've picked that too early or what that aubergine. Another tomato, that's a pepper. Another courgette and a mottled cucumber, which we'll Juno probably throw away. So, but that is an amazing harvest yet again of those cobra beans. It was only Friday when I harvested the ones you saw. Well, I don't know if you've seen the video yet, uh, but there was a video what I picked on Friday. Right, I'll just spin you around. There won't be a minute, folks. Right, I think, yes, we're back. Right, so anyway, so that's a right good harvest again. Now, the beans, I've done nothing really to the ground this time, this year, when we're not being very well and all the weather and everything. I think all I did was put some chicken pellets down and some fish blood and bone and just let the rain drag it in. I watched, I've been watching the videos obviously, I watched one, two yesterday, but I take Ali at Rusty Gardens. If I remember, I'll put the link up. If you've not been over to her, pop over. She's a lovely lady and really got some banter. And I've never seen so many bean plants. I think she does like them. So if you're watching Ali, <laughs> keep your eye on your beans. And then there was another one I watched, Steve, at uh, Digwell Greenfingers. Again, great channel, so if you've not been over there, pop over and have a look. And his beans were hardly growing. I forget what sort he said they were. They're only about three, four foot high, if that. And he's put manure, compost, fertiliser, feed, everything down. Maybe it might be too much for them, I don't know. But as I say, the ones I grow are cobra. 
I don't think they're to everybody's taste, but they are to ours. And as you can see, they are prolific when they have a good year. And I would like if somebody in the comments could give me a clue and an idea when I should pick aubergines. Because I've never grown them. Well, they have, but they didn't work. I've never had them where they've been fruiting like that. And there's another fruit on there as well and some more coming. So I would really appreciate if somebody could tell me how we and when to pick them. And if you've got a good recipe to cook them with. I remember the first time I had ever tasted aubergine, they called them eggplants. I was working in Kenya, a place called Kisumu, right on the side of Lake Victoria. Beautiful place. I, was, I did work some days. And Abraham, he was a Israeli guy, he was like the cook but he was also the mechanic for the vehicles. And one night he said, right, we want some fish. So we went to the lake, uh, Lake Victoria there, and all the locals are fishing with a bit of stick and a line. And he kept watching them, catching and that. And he said, no, not good enough, not good enough. And then this local caught a fish, honest, We've heard of the fishermen's tails, but this was big. A Nile perch. He bought it, and I think he paid about two pound in them days. Took it back, he descaled it. And while he was, he descaled it, and put all salt and bits and bobs over it, herbs, spices, slit it, and put garlic in both sides. And after that, he got an aubergine, sliced it, and if I remember right, he fried it just in garlic, like a garlic paste, until it was brown, and some bread. Wow, it was gorgeous. I've never tasted anything like it, but I've never been able to duplicate it. You never can, can you? So, memories. Yeah, yeah, I did enjoy Kenya. Had some great food. First time I tasted Indian food as well. <laughs> anyway, enough of my life stories. Right then, folks, hope you enjoy. If you do, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, especially on aubergines, please. And uh, I think you might be getting fed up because I've got one more. I've got one already done, then this one, and then one in the making. So, there we go. Busy, busy. Right. Thanks a lot, guys. Catch you all on the next one. Cheers. Bye.